This is the SoCal Update. I'm Kara Santa Maria. We've been taking the pulse of businesses in different SoCal communities during the pandemic. Today, a check-in on Lemert Park. It's Wednesday, April 7th. As Southern California starts to reopen a year after the coronavirus shutdown, we're checking in with small business communities in LA to see how they've weathered the pandemic. KPCC's Caroline Champlin spent some time in Lemert Park in South LA, one of the few majority black communities in the county. So Caroline, what did you find? How are businesses doing there? Well, they're generally doing really well. People told me it has a lot to do with the Black Lives Matter protests and Juneteenth celebration that brought thousands of people to the neighborhood last summer. And coming up on a year later, people are still visiting and supporting Black-owned businesses, especially on the weekends. I talked to one woman who's owned a Jamaican restaurant in the area for 16 years. Things were already going well last summer, and then Beyonce tweeted about them, and the restaurant owner says that was a blessing and helped her stay open throughout the rest of the year. I spoke with an employee at a clothing store that launched during the pandemic. They sell products from Black designers. She says they started with six brands, and now they're up to 40. They're even planning to expand the business to include a juice bar and an incubator project for Black creatives. That's incredible. So what are people thinking about the future of the neighborhood? Do they feel that the success is going to last? A lot of people have the upcoming Crenshaw LAX Metro line on their minds. There's going to be a Lamert Park stop, even possibly by the end of this year. There's some trepidation about rents going up because of that, but generally people are pretty positive about it. One street vendor I talked to is an owner and grower of a cannabis business. He sees Lamert as the next Chinatown or Little Tokyo, a business community and ethnic hub where people can come to learn about other cultures. These days, the visitors are almost entirely Black, but he wants others to come by and spend money in the area. 